Hey, brothers and sisters, if you think you're going to get blessed by God without a fight, you are sadly mistaken. Let me explain something to you. God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. As people, we always think that people wish the best for us. As people on this planet, we want people to wish the best for us, but that's the furthest thing from the truth. You see, when God is about to bless you, that's when you're gonna see the most haters come out. People that you thought that was for you are against you. Things that you thought that was working for you will start to work against you. Things will start to change in your life and you would ask questions like, why is this happening to me? I didn't believe this could happen to me. Why me? See, all these things are distractions from the true blessing that God is about to do in your life. See, God, when he's about to do something major in your life, he has to remove people, places, and things. He has to stir up these things to rake you up. That's why it says be sober-minded and vigilant. For the devil walks around like a prime lion seeking who he may devour. See, when God is about to make a major move in your life, the devil's right there to try to sabotage it. But you have to be sober-minded and vigilant. Your faith has to be like a rock. You have to have unwavering faith. See, if you're double-minded, that's when you're going to be devoured. When you're living in unbelief, that's when you're going to be devoured. When you're living in the world and living for things in this world instead of worrying about what God has in store for you, then you are blinded by the ways of this world. Since the God of this world blinds the minds of the unbelievers. Who's the God of this world? Satan. See, when God is about to bless you with something, the devil will bring a counterfeit. If you don't have that spirit of discernment, how could you discern if it's coming from God? Or if it's coming from the evil one. See, this is why it's so important that you have a prayer life with God. Because the enemy is going to try to do everything like what God would do. Because he's trying to be like God. And you see, when God is about to bless you, the devil knows that God is about to bless you. So he'll try to distract you. He'll try to deceive you with things that are not the real thing. If, he gonna, if God's going to bless you with a relationship, he's going to send people from your past to try to come back into your life. If he's going to bless you in your finances, he's going to try to send you opportunities that you've tried to apply for so long ago, but now they're starting to come into your life. Pay attention.